is Amazon finally cracking down on the sale of Baofengs. We're going to find out today, all coming up in Ria Shack. Hey everybody, I am Ria. My call sign is N2RJ. I'm a ham radio operator and here on this channel we talk about all things ham radio, all sorts of tech topics, issues, news, views, and many other things and other radio related hobbies. If you like the content on this channel and you want to see more of it, why don't you hit the like button and give us a subscribe. This way the content gets in front of more people and you can also share with your friends too so they could join the fun. Alright, so in the amateur radio world there is probably no other name of a radio equipment manufacturer that brings up such controversy as Baofeng. But this really isn't specifically about Baofeng. It's just about some sort of new, I want to say, policy from Amazon that is going to possibly have a chilling effect on the sale of Baofeng radios. So what is it exactly? So basically I'm reading here from Amazon and their Seller Central. As part of our ongoing efforts to protect our customers and enhance the customer experience, Amazon is updating the requirements to offer radio frequency devices. This will affect some products you offer or have previously offered. So this was posted in our Seller Central. This is where sellers go and they list products and they have forums to also talk with other sellers. And also you have um, various um, discussions around selling products and such. At the end of February 2021, in order to create new listings or update existing listings of radio frequency devices, you will need to fill in the FCC radio emission compliance attribute. In the attribute, you must do one of the following. Provide evidence of Federal Communications Commission FCC authorization, either an FCC certification number or contact information for the responsible party as defined by the FCC or certify that the product is exempt from FCC requirements. As a reminder per Amazon policy, all radio frequency devices must comply with FCC regulations and all applicable state or local laws, including registration and labeling requirements. Amazon also requires you to provide accurate information about your products on the product detail page. So apparently this is the United States. I've not seen anything from other countries. If you have seen something from another country, let me know in the comments below, of course. You may not be aware that you are selling products the FCC considers radio frequency devices. The FCC broadly classifies as radio frequency devices any electronic or electrical product that is capable of emitting radio frequency energy. According to the FCC, almost all electronic or electrical products are capable of emitting radio frequency energy everything. Examples of products that are regulated by the FCC as radio frequency devices include but are not limited to Wi-Fi devices, Bluetooth devices, radio broadcast transmitters, signal boosters, and devices with cellular technology. FCC guidance on what is considered a radio frequency device can be found on the Equipment Authorization RF device page on the FCC website. We will follow up with additional information, including a help page closer to attribute launch. For more information, see Amazon's radio frequency devices policy. You can also bookmark this article for future reference. Well, that's about as clear as mud, but I'll try to break it down to you. So first things first, uh, I, I can probably guess at the genesis of this problem, and I don't want to assume on behalf of Amazon, but there have been a lot of radio frequency devices being sold by Amazon sellers. It's not just Baofengs, but a lot of Baofengs are being sold on Amazon. You know, you go on social media and a common, common thing that people said, say now, especially now I'm seeing a lot more people in the various Facebook groups and such saying, hey, I just bought this $25 Baofeng UV5R, UV5R on Amazon. I want to program it for SHTF or some variation thereof. And um, given recent events, I mean, which I won't go into, there have been a lot of um, interest. There has been a lot of interest in amateur radio 
as a form of communications. Backup communications, because it's supposedly free from censorship. I'm going to talk about that in another video, whether it's truly free from censorship, because spoiler alert, it's not. And um, there, you know, so there have been a lot of people buying the cheapest radio they could find. Now, I'm not, I'm not against people buying cheap radio. I mean, I, I owned a couple of these Baofeng radios. I owned a few other TYT radios, Radio Oddity, and other radios that have been used for amateur radio. But let me explain what, is, what else has happened. So Amazon has been seeing not only two-way radios, but they've also been seeing broadcast transmitters. And these broadcast transmitters are, they don't, they're not FCC certified. They're, they're basically sold. I mean, and during the pandemic, I mean, full disclosure, I, I also do, um, you know, video and audio engineering for houses of worship. You've been seeing a lot of churches transitioning during the warmer months and warmer climates to drive-in services where the church buildings are closed. So they, they set up the altar or the stage or whatever in the parking lot. And then you have your priest or pastor set up and then have the, um, the, the, the congregation or parishioners or whatever assemble outside and they have a church service out in the open where it's likely less likely that they will catch you know any sort of disease right i'm not going to say the c word but um it is it has become popular and fact is a pa system can only go so far with a true drive-in service they've been taking fm transmitters and sending the audio over a vacant fm channel and people tune into their cars and they, you know, they sit and attend the service and they hear the audio. And it's worked pretty well. Um, I can tell you that I've used FCC certified transmitters for that and the range is not very far. So it's very tempting to get a 5 or 15 watt FM transmitter and from Amazon or another e-retailer and use that. But um, that's just one of the problems, and it's caught the attention of a lot of people, including the FCC and um, even some low-power FM advocacy groups and such. They're kind of raising alarm bells about this because they will affect legitimate licensed users of Radio Spectrum. The Baofeng, the venerable, venerable Baofeng, generally some of them don't have FCC certification because they're really not intended for any sort of United States commercial radio service. They're being marketed primarily as, and, and you know, some of them will come in and say, yeah, they're an amateur radio. And then there are some of them that will say just two-way radio, walkie-talkie, without providing any specific radio service. And then there are some that say all sorts of weirdly translated, loosely translated words into English, like interphone. I had a Baofeng, um, it fell off a tower 80 feet and um, to its death and um, it was, um, th when I bought it, it said on the listing, Interphone, it said nothing about radio, it said nothing about two-way or anything. So that is the genesis of the problem. You have a lot of these products showing up and it's not just radios and transmitting equipment. You have other equipment like computers and computing devices and such that are showing up and they're not FCC certified in any way. The FCC requires certification of a whole slew of devices, including cameras, computers, and such like that, because as mentioned, they are RF emitters, and they are RF emitters because they contain oscillators and clocks and such like that that operate at high frequencies, and those can unintentionally radiate RF into licensed bands belonging or licensed bands bands licensed to various radio services including aircraft and public safety and government users and that could be a problem because obviously you don't want somebody buying i don't know a cheap piece of device on amazon and then planes airplanes falling out the sky you don't want that i mean that's a little alarmist but you know that is a scenario i'm commonly told so Amazon, I think now, has decided that it's got enough complaints 
and probably sees this as big enough of a problem to require certification of or evidence of certification or evidence of exemption from certification of any device being sold as an RF or radio device. How does this relate to amateur radio? So the Baofeng, you can actually buy a Baofeng and use it on amateur radio legally, provided that it meets all other requirements. This means that it's spectrally clean. You know, it doesn't, it produces a clean enough signal that falls within part 97 limits. It, um, it, it also transmits at legal power levels and it transmits on amateur frequencies. Some time ago, the FCC went and it issued a citation or um, to uh, an importer of Baofengs saying that how these radios are illegal for use on any radio service because they're not certified and that there was an amateur radio exemption, but that amateur radio exemption only applied to radios that could transmit only in the amateur radio service. So since a Baofeng comes out the box completely open, meaning that it transmits from its full frequency range out of the box. These cannot be sold as amateur radios because they also transmit on other radio services and therefore need to be certified. But the, the kind of loophole in that is that you can actually buy these radios as an amateur and you, you can use them. I mean, there's some sort of contention. I know Lucky225, um, he phoned the FCC and tried to get, get a straight answer out of them and he couldn't do it. But basically his contention was that, yeah, you know, you can ban them for sale, okay, but once you own them, you're allowed to use them as a radio amateur. So, um, you know, it's kind of murky on that because the rec regulations technically do say that, but um, it could be that the FCC just decided to go overly broad, but I don't know if they can do that. In any case, there are people who are just outright using them illegally and, um, you know, they might, there is a guy on a, ch a YouTube channel, he says, yeah, you know, if you're going off road in whatever vehicle, just program these on GMRS and use them, you know, and um, who cares if it's legal, you know, I'm not um, soliciting legal advice and hams are all uptight about this. Okay, well, you know what? As a ham, I have to care, but to be honest, if you're using it on GMRS, you're not affecting my radio service, so I don't have to care as much. I still do care that you're not being a good um, citizen of the radio waves, radio airwaves, but if you're not interfering with amateur radio, I don't really use GMRS. It really doesn't, you know, affect me as much, but I still wish you'd kind of obey the rules at the same time. Um, I'm trying to be nice about it. The other thing is that um, people say there's lack of enforcement from the FCC. That might be true. The FCC's resources have been kind of pared down to the bone. But if there are cases of interference to public safety services, then it might catch their attention enough to actually do something about it. And they've actually done something about it in some cases. I know a couple of people. One of my friends, he actually got um, um, fined by the FCC for using his radios to interfere with his, with the first aid squad in New Jersey and he kind of lost his amateur radio license. Oh well. So um, that is it in a nutshell. What will this Amazon policy do? Well, if a manufacturer cannot provide evidence of certification, Amazon is probably not going to let them sell that product. Right, so it's not going to allow them to list the product for sale. It's not going to allow them to modify the listing, and this will have the net effect of uncertified devices not being able to be offered for sale. And um, that, by the way, is in line with FCC rules. If what else effect could it have? It could have some positive effects. It could have the effect that these Baofeng radios do get some sort of FCC certification. And they have they they get restricted to the ham bands, which could be good and bad because what might happen is um, the good is that you know they'll they'll be true blue ham radios and they'll be locked in the ham bands and people use them on amateur radio as ham radios and all good. 
The bad news is everybody could just everybody and their brother will buy them and they'll turn to the first channel that's pre-programmed in the radio and guess what? That'll be in the ham bands and then they will show up in the ham bands. So you'll find all the off-roaders and hunters and families who just saw a cheap radio um, on Amazon and you know anybody else who wants a particular radio. I'm not singling out any, everybody. I'm just trying to say you know that there are certain activities which require radios and a lot of people they just gravitate towards the cheapest one the first hit on 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 Amazon they find it could happen also that Amazon will delist these radios completely and they'll completely go away well that's one thing that's one outcome another outcome is that these radios will stop being sold on Amazon but they might be sold on other websites like eBay or or AliExpress or Alibaba or Banggood or what a name or um, some other places online that's definitely plausible or it could be just a big fat load of nothing and you know apparently some of these radios do have an FCC certification on them and um, they will just continue to be sold and nobody's really gonna care 10 minutes down the line so exactly what is FCC certification by the way so FCC certification is where you have to certify that the radio meets certain requirements some of these are technical some of these are operational technical requirements will be for example signal purity that the signal is pure enough that it's not spewing out of its designated bands and this has been a problem with some of these cheaper radios um, they're fairly legal in some cases um, some of them are legal and some of them are grossly not um, compliant and if you really want a good radio I mean you know there are plenty of good ones that are actually they're not $25 but they're more like 60 or 80 or $100 and that one you'll get, you know, you'll get a warranty that's valid in the United States. You'll get um, um, product support and you'll probably get one that is more likely to be uh, more compliant with FCC spurious emissions. Now, you know, a lot of people say these people have gotten people into amateur radio and that's true. These radios have done a lot of good. They've, you know, they're, they're like you could buy a whole 10 pack of them. You could stuff them in a bag and then you go to an event like a bike race or something like that and you you hand them out to your crew you take one up on a tower and if it falls down like what happened to me that you know the radio fell out my tool bag and onto the 4000 psi concrete well you know no love lost it wasn't my 400 dollar kenwood thd74 which i will never take up on a tower or um you know, and, and quite frankly, a lot of places have been saying, hey, you pass your exam, here's a free radio, 25 bucks, free radio for you. And that has been good. But you know what it is, you know, the FCC has its rules and we're a country of laws, we're a nation of laws here in the United States, at least, we're supposed to be. And um, the FCC rules will, you know, will undoubtedly be enforced and this is not just the FCC a private business like Amazon would probably need to ensure that it's complying with the rules if it doesn't want anything negative from regulators which is always a concern because you know they always look at the big guys right in many cases anyway that's that and I hope <laughs> I hope I didn't make it too angry but if you do like the content please like and subscribe we have a lot more other topics technical topics and other stuff that you enjoy amateur radio thank you to everybody who subscribed recently i love you all and have a great day stay warm we got a lot of snow oh well 73 this is n2rj keep on hamming see ya